Um, hi, everybody. Thank you for being here um, and also for going so quickly and efficiently. <laughs> um, just to give everyone an update, we had a rep, like a regional rep at the MCC for a long time, Ricky. He's no longer there and he hasn't been replaced yet. And I'm sure that's why we're a little behind the eight ball right now. Um, and I will take some ownership for it too. Um, so I just wanted to, I think we can catch ourselves up really quickly. Um, the main thing I wanna do today is decide what we need to do for outreach. I pulled the list of what we did last year. So I think we can basically just replicate the same thing I want to go over direct grants because that's something that is different and we discussed it last year, but I just want to talk to you all about it so you know. Um, and then it would be really good before we left to book our next meeting for when we have to do this because there's so many calendars that I think if we can all just look at our calendars now and come up with like two dates, then I can work with um, Chris or Amy or somebody to get that booked. Um, okay, <clears throat> so I'm taking notes. I can share my screen, yeah? That should be no, it says disabled participant screen sharing. Am I allowed to share? It says host disabled participant screen sharing. While we do that, let me just talk about direct grants. So we talked about this last year and then I met with Ricky about it. And last year we decided to keep things status quo where participants and awardees would have to apply and get reimbursed. When I talked to Ricky, he said the MCC preference is direct grants. And the way they feel about it is that like it's their money, it's not the town's money, right? So like, it's just an unnecessary step. And last year, we had what I thought was a very productive conversation around equity and artists and that to make them have to go through the hurdle of waiting for reimbursement and putting up all that upfront cost doesn't make sense. So I did make the decision to just go ahead and switch them to direct grants. And I hope that's okay. Okay, good. Um, it's also selfishly easier for me because I have to go to town hall and sign all of those reimbursements. And if I can't get there, then I start to get angry, not angry. I get um, persistent emails like, hey, I submitted this last week. And I'm like, oh no. And then I run to the town hall and, and sign it. So I think it just means that people aren't waiting for their money. I still will have to sign everything, but at least it's not a barrier in people getting paid. And I think that that's a really critical part of investing in arts and culture in our community. Um, let me share. Nope, still can't. That's okay. Um, let me just take a note. Um, and all of this will be saved in the Google Drive folder that I'll reshare at the end of the um, meeting. Can you, uh, just put a link to a Google Doc in the chat. Yeah. And we can, yeah. if people, do people have Google Docs, they can just get on there and see what's being added. Yeah, I was gonna share what we did last year, which is less of a like adding thing, but I can just copy and paste it in. Um, I also use the same funding priorities from last year. I feel like that was, um, we had such a good discussion around it last year that it didn't feel like it needed to change to me. Um, we did a lot of changes last year. That's when we decided we wanted to prioritize um, intergenerational programming and things like that. Um, nine. 23. All right, let's see if this works. The other thing we learned last year was that um, 
that MCC prefers not to do grants for under $250. <clears throat> so one lesson learned, I think, is that when we do the press release, we'll want to mention that. Oh, I, I did just find something that says allow, allow all participants to share screen. Can you try it one more time? <gasps> it worked. Okay. Well, wait, hold on. No. No, it oh. didn't work. I can see what you're sharing. It's not the screen I want. <laughs> oh. Off screen. Hold on. Share screen. Well, that had funding priorities. Is is that what you wanted? No, but I figured it out. It was user. No. Are you seeing I'm the gonna, minutes? Um, yes. Yep. Okay. So what's happening is you're just all on the opposite monitor of where I am. That's fine. Let me just do this. Can you drag it? I no, this is fine. It, I mean, your faces are just on a separate monitor. So it looked like I was seeing what you were seeing, but it doesn't matter. I Hi. think the share screen is working though. It's working. This is great. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Laura. Okay. Um, so just to reiterate for Olivia and Laura, We've made a couple shifts this year. The first is we switched to direct grants rather than reimbursement so that um, awardees will just get paid directly through the Mass Cultural Council instead of having to apply for reimbursement. It just means that they get paid and then we still have to sign the form and everything, um, but it means that they're not waiting on us to get paid. It's just going straight through the Mass Cultural Council. Um, the other thing we talked about was that Ricky has not been replaced at the Mass Cultural Council, that's our rep. Um, so we just don't have like a straight line. We used to have somebody whose whole job was informing us of things like dates and priorities and things like that, and that's still not happening. Um, I am gonna reach out to the person who oversees that position and just make sure that we're all good to go. And what I wanted to do today was just figure out who's doing what to promote this. I posted in here what we did um, last year, so we can just kind of review this and potentially make some shifts and then just pick a couple dates for our decision meeting. And that way, by the end of this meeting, we should be like pretty much golden until the big meeting where we go through all the applications. Um, and this is all saved in our LCC folder, but I'll reshare the Google folder at the end of this meeting. Um, here are the important dates. Applications are due October 17th. There was an information session for applicants, potential applicants, Monday, Tuesday. Um, I don't know if anyone in our district attended or not, but um, I'll ask when I reach out. Um, okay, so I think the next steps are the press release and the outreach plan and promoting it. I don't know if we want to change any of this, but do you want me to just run through the list of what we did last year? This we don't need. Oh, we also talked about the grants not being under 250 and trying to um, make sure that that's included in our communications that folks should be applying for larger sums if they want to um so i don't know what is going on with this i'll fix it later so last year i edited the press release and pat reviewed it are you willing to do that again pat yes wonderful i did that video do we remember that like i thought that that was fine i might even just shorten it a little bit um you know people's attention spans get shorter every single year every year um, mine too though okay and then i have a list of colleges and university um like arts and culture departments so like dance departments theater departments etc i'm happy to reach out to them as well um <clears throat> traditionally i've also created a blurb with the link for social media do you want me to do that again and just circulate that? And we have this list 
platform that we were posting it about. And so last year, Denise did Deerfield now, still happy to do that. Oh yeah. Last year I did 413 Stay Woke, Stay Active. I don't know how active this group is anymore. Mm -hmm. Ironically, <laughs> I, know. I will put it in italics and if it's still around, I'll do it. C3 Deerfield was Olivia. Yep. Deerfield Paris. You're frozen. Oh, frozen? There you You're go. Back. You're back. I'm back. Woo, my internet connection is unstable. You don't say. Um, okay, DRD, Pat. Yes. Good. Yeah. Hillside Neighbors. I'll do it. Denise? Sure. Okay, Western Mass Makers. Emily Luker's not here. Does someone else want to take this one? Um. I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't either. Know. I never heard of it. All right, we'll let Emily do it. Okay, Women's Club, Denise. I'll, I'll do it. Shelburne Arts Cooperative, Olivia, you did this last year. Yep. By BIPOC, I can do that. By local, happy to. Union 38 Family Networks, Olivia, are you happy to do that again? Yep. We have personal networks also, so this is like <coughs> sharing on our own um platforms um i'm wondering if max and laura you both have different school connections is there value in you all sharing this somehow with folks i i can um i'm just trying to think of you know the intended audience and who i'd be reaching and i'm not sure but I, I can certainly Other share it. music teachers, perhaps? Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can send it to, there's a music, uh, Massachusetts Music Educators Association, Western District. I'll send it to them. Perfect. But Western Mass Music, no. It's M-M-E-A, yeah, M-M-E-A, Western, or W-D. Yeah. Love uh, acronym. Yeah. Okay, we'll just put this here. Um, Laura, do you want to? So, I, so my internet connection is just as unstable as yours, especially when I have more than one person on my Zoom. <laughs> That's what I've learned. So, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, so I have a private practice psychotherapy network that is quite large. If wow. you feel, and there are people who do do like arts performances, um, that are related, like that might be of interest. Um, I know one therapist who has done stuff at, um, the improv place in Hadley and then as so I don't know if there's anything there or if they would have any resources so you could let me know if you feel like that would be worthwhile um the other connection that I feel I have is um Sarah attends solely my daughter and and uh, they have a new dance instructor who is creating a community dance program at Sony, and I don't know if they're going to be looking for performances or would need anything. So I'm not really sure. I would reach out. Like, sure. why not? Yeah. It's just sharing the information. Okay. Like, okay. Smart All to right. do. Um. Okay. This is all part of this. This is all done. Look, at this is like the easiest meeting. <laughs> Except we're about to get into the hardest part, which is when can we all meet in early November? November. <laughs> if they're due October 17th, we could try to meet, but we're going to all have to review assignments at that point. So I think early November. 
And let's uh. pick two dates because um, just the way that the world is right now. I'm, I mean, the I'm only dates I have that are. Go, go ahead, whoever, Max, go ahead. Okay. I was just going to say the only dates I can't do are the 8th and 9th. Is there a day of the week that's best for folks? Tuesday is not awesome. That's when school committee meetings are. Monday the 6th looks good to me. I have planning board. Oh, planning board on Monday. Yeah. My Good shot. Well, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I could do um, Wednesday the 8th. Oh, no, you can't do the 8th. All right, let's just go to the next week. What about Monday the 13th or Wednesday the 15th? I can. Yep. Monday looks good. Monday looks good. I have to leave everyone, so I think we still have enough people to. Yep. Decisions. Go ahead. Thank and you. Let me know what's going on. I'll be there. All right. Thanks, Denise. Bye. Bye. Um, what time is best for? Is this a good time? Six thirty. Yeah. Yes. I'm looking at Max with two babies at home. Yeah, it's more so my wife who's. Currently looking after them. So. <laughs> well, that's why I'm just asking. text Mary Jo. <laughs> no. It's my fault. Okay. So great. I will get this. Um, to admin. So that was Monday the thirteenth. Yep. Yeah. Six thirty. Oh, November 13th. Oh, yeah. yes. November. Thank you, Max. Good point. Whew, that would have been. And then <clears throat> action items are above outreach. We'll need to review the panel book before that meeting once it's produced. Um, and connect with MCC for funding amount. I do feel like I've signed a shockingly few numbers of grants reimbursements this year. So I think in whatever communication I put out, I'm also going to just include like, PS, don't forget to get your reimbursements in for this previous grant cycle. Cause I think it's just something people forget to do. Um, and send the current members. Okay, I think that's it. I have a question. Yeah, Pat, what's up? Oh, uh, well, I just wanna be sure, we don't have any money left over this time, do we? Didn't we have some leftover funds? Last, well, so that's one of the things, that's one of the reasons why I wanna figure out what's going on with the reimbursement. So we won't know until the end of this fiscal year, which I think is, uh, I think the MCC cycle goes till October 1. So then the new funding cycle starts. So then we'll know how much we're being awarded as well as how much was left over and is in our account. Okay. Yeah. If you haven't been into town hall lately, I believe you have a couple of items in your mailbox which look like okay who I'll want to be look. paid okay i was there monday yeah so i I'll... think we we may have gotten a you may have gotten a couple pieces of mail since monday and we okay. just closed the warrant today or yesterday so for the next cycle i think there's going to be a, a couple more reimbursements yes. i'm glad because like i want I want people to get. I, I happened to stick my face in your mailbox a day or so ago. Thank and you. I saw a couple in there. Okay. Well, then I can actually swing by. I have a key. I can swing by tomorrow. 
Um, I'll add that to my action item list. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I hope we get, last year I think we had 6,000. So it'd be nice to get the same or more because we got, we've been increasing the number of applicants each year, so. All right, any other questions, comments, concerns, hopes, dreams, or desires? <laughs> can, I, can I ask a question? Yeah. What, how would you like me to reach out to Stonely? Is there a, is there a, an email or something suggested yeah so on my list is i'll tr pull the blurb we did last year it will probably be the same and it's just gives like an overview and a link that you can just share okay okay great thanks you bet okay we don't need to stay for the sake of staying oh when unless that wants to when <laughs> Oh, I could show a movie. Um, <laughs> when um, will I see that press release? Probably it, it's either going to be the type of thing that I do right now or this weekend. Okay. Yeah, but soon because I want to get it out so that Chris has it for next right. week. Good. Okay. And I'm just going to take what we did last year and tweak it, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because it was perfect. It was perfect. It was. It's the best press release I've ever seen. You, I bet, looked at it and you were like, the New York Times had nothing on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. Um, I'm going to try and just chug through a bunch of this right now so pat it really might be in like 30 minutes you have it oh i i no pressure i just i, I know but it's the kind of thing that you know how life is where when you're thinking about it it's better to just do it other yeah see i'm getting nods people know okay Bye, thanks <laughs> cultural council you're the best you guys are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Emily. Bye. 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 Bye.